Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And hope you enjoy. Behold, it is time, yea, the time is now at hand, that except ye do bestir yourselves in the defense of your country and your little ones, the sword of justice doth, doth hang over you, yea, and it shall fall upon you and visit you even to your utter destruction. You cannot turn a blind eye just because the truth is ugly. Just like you talked about at the first, turning a blind eye, pretending it doesn't want to happen. The ugly truth is painful and it can be traumatic to know that these things happen. But you have to know that these things happen. You can't willfully choose ignorance because you'll be held just as accountable. If, if you choose to avoid the trauma of you realizing that you were wrong and that people are evil and ignore the trauma that that evil does to those poor innocent children, to those innocent people that are trafficked, that are raped and molested, that are, that are destroyed. If you put your own, your own comfort and the minor trauma of, oh, I was wrong and those people are actually bad people. If you put that above standing up for what's right, you've got a pitiful life. The Lord will show no mercy to you, as he will show none to those who who commit the crime. We're obviously not all perfect. But, I mean, come on. In the words of Joe Biden, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Oh. But that's just the thing. The sword of justice doth hang over you. And that's speaking every bit as much to us as it was the the men that Captain Ron and I was writing the letter to. Yeah. And look at yeah, how horn. look at what he was saying and who he was saying it to. He was saying it to his the own governor. Yeah. The chief judge. If I remember right, that's the letter mm -hmm. that he wrote to Pohorn. And he was, he was I basically... I will leave half my forces here and I will come with the others and we will take it back. He'll destroy you. I think he actually says, we will destroy you. If all, men were, if all men were likened to Moroni, the very, the very foundations of hell would be shaken. Be a hell shaker. I don't think Moroni was a particularly loved individual. I mean, I'm sure his troops loved him. I'm sure there are factions of the populace that loved him, but I'm sure there are parts that are like, wow, he's kind of out there. He's kind of extreme. Oh, that's uncomfortable to talk about. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, let's just go, let's just go do our own thing. It's like. The sword of justice doth hang over you. That's the thing that gets me to continue. To, I, that, that's one of the things that gets me to continue doing these is the. The fact that we need to speak. We need to we need to wake up. And then we all need to do our part. Yeah. Arise and awake to your awful state. Because make no mistake, it's here. We're at a crossroads right now that we either stand up and we do what's right and we do it peacefully. Or we're going to have to or fight. Or we're going to have to fight. And Unfortunately and ultimately we know the outcome. We know who wins. And it's an inevitability. It has to happen anyway. But do everything in your power to avoid that. So that when it does come time for the violence. At least you can say to your family and to, to God ultimately. I did everything that I could with the tools that I was given to do this peacefully. Before my hand was forced. I the Lord God make you free. You look all through the scriptures. They, it talks about. What wait, what waits for you. If you just let freedom go. It is that important to him. And his plan. And he gave us great tools that we were supposed to live by. 
and a means to do it peacefully first. So let's do that. Let's do everything in our power to avoid that outcome. Some people may want it, may think they want it, but I promise you, if you've already been there, you don't want any part of that hell. We might, we listened to a thing about the, the Star Spangled Banner and about the night that that was written, and it was really powerful. And my wife is the one who pointed it out how we, well, I was talking to her about it, but you take the 4th of July when everybody's out celebrating and you have your fireworks and you feel patriotic and you feel good and that feels good. And then you look at, you look at those that you know that are veterans that have been through that hell. They're not out celebrating. They're in their basements with their ears covered because it takes them back to that place and it's hell. And it's, it's easy to, it's easy to not see that side of it and to, to think of the glory and ignore the cost. But the cost is there. Physically, emotionally, mentally. It stays with you forever. If you're lucky enough to be able to deal with it physically and emo emotionally well, great. And if you're lucky to avoid being injured, you're just that. You're lucky and you're blessed. But I still, I still live with, with a lot of it. I deal with it well, but I still live with a lot of that hell and that horror. And I definitely still deal with the physical ramifications of my service. So, if you think that it's going to be this, hell yeah, let's go tear shit up and make things right, that's not what it is. There is a pride to be had with it. But it's not. It's not worth it. Well, it is, but it's... You can only understand it if you understand it. Um, I've got one quote that I want to share from the Marquis de Lafayette. He helped us during the Revolutionary War. He was a Frenchman. <laughs> he trained our troops, didn't he? I don't remember what... Mar I think if he came and he, he, he helped train. He trained or he helped... Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to re, re look at it. Read, the, I used to read the quote. Read the quote. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I, it, he said, when the government violates the people's rights, insurrection is, for the people, and for each portion of the people, the most sacred of the rights and the most indispensable of duties. And what is the definition of insurrection? If you could spell it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the auto spelling? A violent uprising against an authority or government. Let's not let it get to that point. Or do everything in our power to avoid getting to that point. Because you truly don't want it. It's exciting and romantic, the thought of it, but it's not anything that you think it is. Ignorance really is bliss. Again, thanks for watching Elders Rising, episode 9. Um, hey, buddy. If you like, subscribe and share, and have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.